Hi, it's Darren with Smartsheet Guru. I wanted to highlight the ancestor and parent functions by giving some practical examples of how to use them. Let's dive right in. I have a project plan here with several levels of hierarchy. Level one is the very first row and shows project level information. Level two contains subheadings with groups of task. Level three contains the task under the subheadings. And level four contains groups of tasks that are grouped into phases. I will show how to use the ancestors and parent functions to bring in data from differing levels of hierarchy. For demonstration purposes, I will concatenate the level one task name with the level three and level four task names into the project task group column. First, let's talk about the level column. This column determines a level of hierarchy of the row with one being the highest. It is calculated with a simple column formula. The formula is count of the ancestors plus one. I added the plus one so that the level of hierarchy would start at one instead of zero. It is up to you, but some users find it easier to start with level one instead of zero. Now, how is this used to reference the ancestral rows? Taking a look at the project task group column formula, there are some nested if statements, which you'll see. And I'll explain these. If the level at the row is equal to three, we want to concatenate the project name, which is in the very first row of the sheet at level one, add a dash, and then take the subheading of this particular row. So an index function is used in conjunction with the ancestors function. And the way this works is the ancestors function will look at the ancestors of the task name at row. And the ancestors function provides a range. And because it's a range, you can use the index function to take the very first value in that range. And in this case, the very first value is my new project. And so therefore, it inserts the value, my new project, in the first part of this text string. Then the dash is concatenated with some spaces. And the parent function is then used based on the task name at row. And the parent of this particular cell is planning. So that's how you get that whole string there. So that's the first argument in this if statement. Then it goes on to the next if statement. If the level of row is not three, it checks and says is the level of row four. In the case that it's four, uses the ancestors of the task name at row, which is the same as if it's level three, you're gonna get the same range returned with the first value in that range being the project name here. And we can concatenate the dash. And in order to get the, the subheading in the case that the level is four, we then need to take the second value in that ancestor range, which particular example here would be execution. Then the dash is concatenated and the parent of the level four row would be the level three row above, which in this case would be phase one. Um, in this example, it would be phase two. And so that is how you use 
the parent and ancestors function, and you can use index functions to pull values out of the range returned by the ancestors function. I'll put the formulas used in the video description. Thanks for watching. Please subscribe for more Smartsheet content.